Sarah here, founder of Sacred Movement Online Studio, and I'm so excited to be here with all of you today. I'm not wearing my Christmas PJs just because I feel this practice is a special class I designed just for you and for this time of the year, but you can actually practice it any time of the year. This class is designed to help you slow down, unplug from the hustle and bustle of our lives, to clear our minds, to, to restore our bodies, and to renew our spirit. During busy times in our lives, during busy times of the year, like the holiday season, can bring a lot of stress and worries and anxiety to people. While it can be a very exciting and happy time of the year for a lot of people, it can also be a cause of stress, feelings of anxiety and loneliness and depression for others. So this time, I, I invite you to grab several blankets or comforters, maybe a pillow, maybe large towels, things that you can use to A, help you feel supported, to help you cover up your body, to, to, um, to support your, your body in certain positions. And if you can, grab a night pillow or maybe a light towel that you can use to cover your eyes towards the end of the practice. So you can pause this video, get your PJs on, maybe grab your tools that you need and join me when you're ready. Fantastic, so let's go ahead and start. You can have even socks if you want. Today, like I said, it's gonna be a slow practice. We're just gonna do a few poses and that's it. So let's start in child's pose. If your knees are uncomfortable in child's pose, try adding this blanket behind your knees for additional support. And then extend your arms forward. If you like, you can bring your hands by your hips instead. And just take a couple of deep breaths in here, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling out of your mouth. Continue to breathe only through your nose. Allow yourself to feel this connection with the earth. As you are in this child's pose, you're going inwards. As you slow down your breath, you begin to bring your awareness to what your inner landscape. Staying low to the ground, it helps you to cultivate this feeling of groundiness, safety, secure. You automatically begin to slow down. So these are, this is a pose that's fantastic to do when you are a lot in your head, if you've been traveling a lot, if you've been running in opposite directions all day long or for weeks on at a time. Take two more deep breaths. And whenever you're ready, slowly begin to come to your hands and knees. If you have a blanket behind your knees, just set it to the side. Stack your shoulders over your wrist, your hips over your knees. And as you inhale, look forward, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine, press back to child's pose. Inhale, come forward, look up, arch. Exhale, round your spine, child's pose. Continue your own pace. So those of you that take my classes often, you know how much I love this simple pose or sequence, mini sequence, just because it helps to warm up the spine, it helps to loosen up any tension and tightness but it's a great simple way to begin to marry your movements with your breath. One more. Child's pose in here. This time as you inhale, round your spine, come up to cat pose. And as you exhale, arch your back, press back, child's pose. Inhale, come up to cat pose. Round in your spine, and as you exhale, arch your back, press back, child's pose. Creating this 
way through the spine, this undulation of the spine, releasing tension and tightness, entering this meditative state of being. And whenever you're ready, come back to center, tabletop. Stacking once again, hips over your knees, shoulders over your wrists, and push the foot away from you. As you inhale, extend the right leg back. Flex the foot. Think of pressing back through that heel like you're standing on that right leg. You can stay here, scoop the belly in towards the spine. If you can, extend the left arm forward, spinal balance. Make sure you're not dropping the head or you're looking straight forward. Think of creating a long line of energy from crown to the top of the hip to the back heel. Lift it up the right shoulder. Inhale here. And as you exhale, bring the knee to elbow, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. One more time. Exhale, tap. This time as you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower the left hand. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the right foot forward between your hands. Slide the left knee back, but keep the right knee over your ankle. Stay low with your fingertips. Let your hips go down towards the ground. Shoulders move away from the ears. Inhale here. Exhale, let your hips go down a little bit more, opening the front of the left hip. You can lower the head so the she moves towards your chest to increase maybe the stretch in the front of the left hip. One more deep breath. And as you exhale, straighten the right leg. Walk your hands slightly forward as you draw that left hip back, right hip back, left hip forward. Relax the shoulders, the face. Spread your toes, if you can, on the right foot. One more breath. And whenever you're ready, bend the front knee. Now bring the right knee to me, the left. Inhale here, arch your back. Exhale, child's pose. Pause in child's pose. Quiet your mind once again. And whenever you're ready, inhale, come back to your tabletop, hands and knees. Legs about hip width apart. Shoulders move down towards your hips. Push the foot away from you. And on your next inhalation, lift the left leg. Flex the foot like you're standing on the left leg. Lift it off the shoulders. And if you can, extend the right arm forward, spinal balance. Once again, try not to drop the head. Think of creating this long neck. So you're sending energy up forward through the crown and right fingertips and back through the left heel. And as you exhale, tap the knee to elbow, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. This time, inhale, grow taller, lengthen. And as you exhale, bring the right hand down and bring the left foot forward between your hands. Now, slide the right knee back, but keep the left knee over the ankle. Come high to your fingertips. Inhale here, open the chest. And as you exhale, let your hips go down towards the mat a little bit more. Breathe into the front of that right hip. So your hip flexors um, are connected to your fight and flight response. So are connected to your nervous system, the sympathetic system, the one that is constantly working, like the one you're using right now to listen to me when you are active, when you're awake, when you're problem solving when you're under stress. So this tightness in your hip flexors can be related to how stressed you're, you have been for the past few days, weeks, or months. 
Exhale, let's straighten that left leg. Left toes towards the sky. Relax the shoulders, the arms, your face. That hip flexors are also connected with your fear. If you experience fears, anxiety, worries, stress, all that begins to affect the tightness in your hip flexors. Mm, just breathe and soften. So the idea behind today's practice is to begin to disconnect from being plugged in into the, the, our day-to-day -day life. So all the technology, all the stressors that are there. So you can disconnect from that and begin to create space to nurture yourself, to heal from the inside out to restore and renew your body, your cells, your tissue. And whenever you're ready, bend the left knee, step back, child's pose. Breathe in deep and slowly through your nose. Maybe as you breathe in, you can mentally say, I am safe, I am loved. I am renewing my mind and body and spirit, whatever it is that you want to internally say. And whenever you rise, slowly begin to come up to your hands and knees, sit back, bring your legs in front of you, and bring the soles of the feet together. Grab one of your um, blankets here and place the blanket on top of your feet and create this little like wrap it around towards your hips. So then you have extra support, especially if your knees are really high, extra support around your legs. And whenever you're ready, begin to fold forward. You doesn't matter how low you're going in this pose, how close you are to the ground, if you're super high, it's creating support. So you begin to establish these patterns of feeling supported, no matter what you are experiencing in your life. Doesn't matter if things are going easily and effortlessly or if you're being challenged in any ways or when you feel um, that things are not going the way you expected or you made mistakes or obstacles come up into your life. So the idea is for you to cultivate that inner support that comes from within. So then that reflects your outside world. So when you allow yourself to be helped, to be supported, to stay grounded, to stay connected to the essence of who you are, then more likely it is for you to see obstacles as lessons, for you to find the solutions, for you to attract the right people, situations, and circumstances that provide you with that sense of well-being, sense of love and support. And whenever you're ready, slowly begin to come up. Now you can, uh, if you have a bolster, great. If you have these blankets, roll the blanket and place it behind your knees. So your knees are gonna be supported once again. Sit back tall, lengthen the spine, inhale here. And as you exhale, begin to fold forward. So it's not about having the legs straight once again, here is to help you relax, is to help you decompress, help you let go of the struggle or the need to push, to accomplish, to achieve, just for a moment. Because in those moments of stillness here, when we slow down, when we clear our mind, when we support ourselves, is when new scenes can be born. Creativity begins to flourish when your body begins to heal. Because you're finally creating the space for those things to happen. Some of you know me from teaching a lot of vinyasa classes. Uh, um, I do a lot of core work and work with 
a lot of different activating energizing practices but it's very important to find the balance between doing all of that and finding the balance between doing poses and classes like this so you have more of a yin and yang right so you have times where you need to do more and activate and strengthen and sweat and and just move from one pose to the next but there are also times where your body needs to slow down to rest to move slowly to do supportive restorative poses so the next time you step on your mat the next time you you're required to show up fully you have the you have the energy to do so so think about times when you slow down times with practices like this are times where you are investing in yourself it's when you're putting more more energy into your energy bank one more deep breath and slowly roll up one vertebra vertebra at a time you set the mat to the or the blanket to the side shake your legs if you need to now one of your blankets you're going to place it like a pillow you're going to use it as a pillow Make sure you have your eye pillow or towel handy. This other blanket, you're gonna, you know, uh, use, it, use it to cover yourself. Let's use this roll blanket once again to support your, the back of your knees. So this is a great practice to do before you want to go to bed or maybe on a Sunday where you feel like you need to recharge for the for after a long week or prepare for the week ahead so make sure one blanket is under your head one blanket is behind your knees cover yourself with the other blanket and then place your eye pillow or towel over your eyes bring one hand to your heart center one hand to your navel center connecting these two powerful energy centers in your body. One is a center, the navel center is connected to your sense of self, your self-worth, your willpower, your strength. And the other center is the center of love, compassion, kindness. It's the seat of your soul. So breathing life into these areas so you feel empowered, you feel secure within yourself and within your well-being, secure within the, the essence of who you are as you continue to breathe in love, prana, consciousness, breath into your heart in all aspects of your life. Letting your breath continue to slow down and maybe visualize any leftover tension and tightness, anything that takes you away from a place of being balanced and centered. Begin to melt away. Maybe begins to drip out of your body onto the earth. Some other earth can transform it, transmute it into positive energy. Slowly begin to open your arms out towards the side, palms are facing up. You can always bring your hands under your blanket so you are warm. There's a tendency that when we begin to relax our bodies may get cold so make sure you are comfortable here and we're going to be here for a while feel free to stay as long as you need to even after the recording is over now bring your awareness to your toes releasing any tension and tightness from your toes the sole of your feet, your heels, the top of your feet, your ankles. Moving your awareness up your legs, your calf, your shins, 
the back of your knees, the front of your, the top of your knees, the back of your thighs, the hamstrings, the upper thigh. Releasing any tension and tightness from your legs all the way down to your toes. Breathing life into the back of your hips, the front of your belly, your lower back, your waist, your upper back, your chest. Releasing any tension and tightness from your torso, front and back, all the way down to your toes. Bringing awareness to your fingers. Your pinky finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, and thumbs. Bring your awareness to the back of your hands, the palm of your hand. Releasing any tension and tightness from your hands. Letting them relax even more. Letting your fingers curl towards the center of the palm, naturally. Releasing any tensions from your wrist, your forearms, the elbows, the upper arms, and the shoulders. So your arms continue to relax more, the back and front of your body, all the way down your legs and toes. Bringing awareness to the back of your neck, your throat, your cheeks, your ears, the back of your ears, your nose, relaxing your eyes so they can go deeper into their sockets, relaxing your forehead, the hairline, the crown of the head. So you're more and more relaxed from the crown of the head all the way down your body, all the way down towards your toes. Letting your body continue to sink onto the earth. Let your breath find its natural rhythm. to be supported by the earth underneath you, the blankets are supporting your joints, your head, the blanket on top of you creating warmth, this feeling of safety. yourself the opportunity to simply be exactly as you are in this present moment. Letting your lips part. All tension and tightness continues to drip away or off your body, seeping into the earth, giving thanks for the opportunity to give your burdens back to Mother Earth so she can transform you, transmute it into positive energy. And as you connect into Mother Earth, Feel this unconditional love, this sense of safety, moving from the earth 
into your being, into your body. Some of you may be able to visualize it as this iridescent, beautiful pink mist. Beginning to move from the earth into, into your body, into every cell, every tissue. And moving from your body upwards, creating this beautiful cocoon of light. Notice if there are any areas in your body or within yourself that's resisting this this opportunity to let go. For so many people, they're on all the time that they don't remember how to relax or decompress. So with each breath, you allow gravity to gently press your body into the earth with each breath. You let go a little bit more. So you continue to find new levels of relaxation. Continue to visualize this beautiful pink mist of light covering every part of your body, covering every part of your being, creating a beautiful cocoon around you as you stay connected with Mother Earth. So there's this beautiful flow of energy between you and Mother Earth. Continue to soften your face, letting your lips part. stay here for as long as you like. If you're ready to come out of this pose, gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Circle your wrist and ankles in one direction. Circle the opposite way. Gently move your head from one side to the other side. And as you inhale, may you bring your arms over the head, point your toes, stretch. Exhale, open your mouth. Gently bend your knees, planting your feet on the mat. Maybe you roll or pull, push your blanket away from your feet as you roll to one side of your body. Pausing here for a moment, taking your time to transition back from your Shavasana, back into your body, back into the space. And whenever you're ready, begin to come up to a seated position. Bring your palms to your heart center, close your eyes, bow your head. Take a moment.
exhale here to seal the energy you created through your practice. To give thanks for the opportunity to restore your mind, your body, your spirit. To recognize the importance of slowing down, to take, of taking care of yourself, of taking few minutes a day or maybe few minutes once a week to really find ways to restore your body to practice self-care whether it's through yoga breathing meditation a bath reading a book so you allow yourself to unplug from the hustle and bustle of life and to connect with your inner being to connect with your soul with your body so you can create space for abundance, creativity, health, wealth, relationships and opportunities to come your way. The divine light within my soul is truly inspires and celebrates the divine light within, within each one of you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you everybody for joining me. You can go ahead and go to bed if that's appropriate or continue with your day with the sense of being mindful, with the sense of inner peace within yourself. And I'll see you soon. Make sure you subscribe to my channel or find ways to connect with me using my website, erikaisler.com. And until next time, have a great day. Namaste.